We don't want any ban and we don't want any wall. We don't want a fascist USA. No bail the wall! We turn down! No bail the wall! We turn down! Trump does not want people like me in the United States. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Donald Trump has got to go! I don't want that ban representing me as an American. No ban! No wall! Well, that's protesters protesting President Trump's refugee ban. They did it so at airports across America, causing some people to miss their flights. Thousands turned out from coast to coast. We're joined now by a leader of one of those protests, Cameron Witten. He's in Oregon. He's on the organizing committee of Portland's resistance, an anti-Trump group. Cameron, thanks for joining us. So, Thank you for having me here, Mr. Carlson. Thanks. So you were, you were uh, at one of these protests. You've been at a bunch of protests uh, recently, but you're particularly spun up about uh, these executive orders that President Trump signed. What about them specifically bothers you? So uh, we've seen a lot of action coming from the White House since January 20th. Yeah. And it just seems like we see so much coming at us. There's so much to read. And uh, we're responding. And uh, for me, I am very troubled to feel that uh, President Donald Trump, um, who was elected in an unprecedented election, you know, this is a man uh, who did not receive uh, the majority of the popular vote. And uh, that's right. uh, it's a, a first for the country. And it just, it embl it's emblematic of the fact that we are pretty divisive as a country right now upon, right. Uh, upon political spectrums, uh, rural versus liberal. Uh, and so the country right now is reacting, and uh, there's a lot of people who feel like their voices were not heard during this right. election. And I think that's what we're seeing. That's why I'm out there particularly, is there are well, a lot of people who... You're reacting, for yeah. sure. Um, but by the way, it, it has happened b before. President Clinton didn't receive the majority of the popular vote in either election, 92 or 96. But, but whatever, I see, I see your point. You don't like Trump. But you said you've been doing a lot of reading. There's a lot to read. H have you read the executive orders that you're protesting against? I have read a number of the executive orders. Uh, I haven't read okay. all of them. You know, he's signed right. more than I can probably count. Uh, but but I, we I do mean, have a lot I'm of organizations out there, like ACLU right. and different um, Islamic relation organizations who are out there uh, spreading messages of what's happening. And I've also been reading about the federal uh, judges who've been ruling as well, and the attorney right. generals, both, uh, you know, statewide and nationally, who are also decreeing orders. There's a lot to read out there. I'm not going to say yeah. that I've read everything. Uh, and it's just happening so fast. And that kind of shows that yeah, no, uh, we have that, a that, White House that's, that's that is right. taking There's action faster than people are able to have a conversation. Well, I mean, you can, you've got, probably got internet access. You can, you can pull it up. So just in case you, you didn't read it, here's a part that you might agree with. I thought of you when I read this, actually. And here's what the, his <laughs> first executive order on the refugees uh, says. The United States should not admit those who engage in acts of bigotry or hatred, those who oppress Americans of any race, gender, or sexual orientation. Do you agree with that? So... Uh, I'm curious about how that relates to sev the seven countries that was put on the, the travel immigration uh, refugee ban that's currently what, in what, place. What are the, it what just are the seven countries? That if you're gonna take, uh, you're asking which are the seven countries? Yeah, what are the seven countries? Oh, got like Iran, Iraq. I can't list off all of them, uh, but it okay. lists off there are five seven others. countries. Right. There's five others. Uh, I yeah. believe that uh, Turkey's probably on it, Syria's no. on it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, Syria is on okay. it. It's, there's but they're, they're a lot countries. of countries. They're, they're not our country. They're, diff they're different countries. But, but here's, here's the point I'm Yeah, but I'm you have countries making. like Saudi Arabia is not on it. There's a lot of countries that right. uh, Trump has had uh, you know, business interest in uh, that right. we've seen so not you, on them. So there's you're questions you're about you're how did you get on that list or not. I'm, I'm try, trying to get through this here. So, so I want to get back to this quote, though. This is from, I'm not making this up. I promise this is real. Um, what do you okay. think of that? So basically the executive order says, you know, you should make sure before people come here that they're not going to be committing acts of discrimination when they get here. Uh, on How the about basis people who have already gotten race, green gender, cards or have worked for the government? So I'm just really confused. There were people okay. who were already in the air but when the executive I order back was signed. Really, really quick. People who I, I have come it. to this country before, I, people who have family it. here, um, literally it. like but, wives and children, and then they couldn't leave the airport. Right, right. How okay. about them? So, like, um, have we not already uh, proven, have they not proven right. that they love this country? I'm, I want to get back to this specific question. I mean, do you think it's a good idea or not? You know, before people come over, should you say to them, hey, in our country, we don't discriminate on the base of race or sex or sexual orientation? I mean, are you for that? I mean, I know you don't want I to think the application, for, but what do you think of that? The application of this executive order is already questionable. We're already seeing people who are discriminated against, and they have never shown. 
Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that we should be more in, focused in on building bridges I'm, in this country. I'm so sorry. We're going to go to, we'll be right back to you, Cameron. This is a Fox News alert, though. President Trump has fired acting U.S. Attorney General Sally Yates of Georgia, and he's named Dana Bente, U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia, as acting Attorney General in her place. Yates today had refused to defend the administration's recent executive order on immigration. In a few minutes, senior policy advisor Stephen Miller will be here to discuss this breaking news, which is significant. But right now, back to Christian, Cameron Witten, rather. Uh, Cameron, uh, sorry we had to break in there. Um, you just heard that uh, the president has fired the acting attorney general. We're going to find out exactly details in a minute. But I want to get back to something you just said. You said you showed up at airports, and part of the reason that you went is because there were virtuous refugees stuck in those airports, and they couldn't get into the country as they deserved to do. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it occurred to you that by protesting outside those airports, you prevented, like, normal people from getting on airplanes and going to their jobs or to see their family or an ailing loved one. You did. And I'm wondering why you thought you had the right to do that, why you thought you had the right to hurt people who had nothing to do with these executive orders at all, who might agree with you. Why did you have a right to hurt them? So I just want to bring it back to the fact that this all happened in the first place uh, because uh, people were not able to come onto American soil. So yes, I understand you're asking now out of concern of people who felt like they were inconvenienced for a couple no, of minutes. No, not who felt but like. really we're, we're talking about people no, no. who were afraid who of their like lives who, of being deported. Who were inconvenienced so, by you? I'm just so going to say that. that as it, okay, well, uh, we have people who celebrated their First Amendment rights. You know, the act of nonviolent civil disobedience is a pinnacle of so many rights that we have fought for in this country, and we know that democracy is messy. We Testing know that patience. so much of There's the freedom that we try to defend every day. Okay, we have Cameron. people who defend freedom both here and abroad. Okay. People Stop who, we have the to talking go to war to protect one freedom. Talk so, like a human being for just one second, Cameron. Just for <laughs> one second. I, I've heard all this before for like 25 Thank you, Mr. years. Carl. I, uh, and yeah. I agree with the First Amendment. I just want to ask you a really simple human question. Did you think about the people who you were hurting when you blocked access to airports. Did you think, well, I think about you know, the there's some normal who person who wants to get through to and they're not getting through because of me. Their motivation is love. That's why we're out here. We're out here for love. We're out there to make sure that we can spread a message that the entire oh. world can hear. We can't allow one person who just got into office now create the n narrative for this what country. What about people who want people to get on a plane out there to see love? their mom who's dying or whatever? I mean, what about them? Can't they got on the plane. They, they actually, in fact, they got on the plane. So it happened, actually. You don't seem and, to care. Uh, we had Which for, a ma for a man who's acting out of love, <laughs> you, don't, you don't seem to care. It's like they're in the way, whatever. We're making our point, First Amendment, rah, rah. But like, what about normal people who aren't involved in any of this? They sign no executive orders, and you're hurting them. Like, just acknowledge that you care about them a little bit. Do you? Yes, I care about everybody okay. in this country. And care more. people did get care to the more, airport. Cameron. They did time. get onto their plane. Yeah, you okay. too. Thanks.